A life lesson in a Long Island classroom right in front of a sixth grade math class. Carolyn Gussoff covers Long Island and spoke with one very relieved Patchogue Medford Middle School student and the teacher who saved his life. For 11-year-old Henry Perry, sixth grade math has already taught a life lesson. Last week, he popped a gumball into his mouth like without that. chewing it because no he has braces. And then I laughed, and it just got sucked down. He was gasping for air. Like that. Students started yelling, he's choking. Math teacher Chris Schiefer sent one student to run for the nurse and... Pulled Henry in front of the classroom and just started performing the Heimlich maneuver. Take your thumb and you put it in your belly button and you make a fist. It's kind of a up and in thrust. But the first two thrusts didn't work. This is not working. I was thinking I wouldn't be here anymore. On the third thrust, problem solved. I'm really glad Mr. Schiefer was there for me and I'm also really glad I got to see another day. Thank you so much. My pleasure, my man. So happy you're here for another day. Schiefer then taught the whole math class about the Heimlich maneuver, posted up on the wall for years, but never before brought to life. It's definitely something that everybody should know. And as if one save wasn't enough, he also dislodged food from his own baby daughter. And her face was turning red. But she was too young to do the Heimlich maneuver, so I remember um, like just turning her over and slapping her in the back, and the piece of chicken did come out. While teacher staff and coaches are trained in the Heimlich maneuver, middle school students may not be. CPR and choking education begins in the seventh grade. Henry says you're never too young. Start learning it because you never know when you're going to need it or not. No more gumballs for Henry, but a lot of gratitude to his quick thinking teacher. In Medford, Long Island, Carolyn Gussoff, CBS News, New York. Wow, what a reminder. Hats off to that teacher.